U-A-H-S is the greatest. Hand me that ox. Hang it out. Down the street. Same old thing. We did last week. Not a thing to do. Welcome to the 2016-2017 edition of Kicking It Live. I'm Lily. And I'm Elise. Today we look at Freshman First Day, Bear Den, Glee Clubs, and Breakaway Festival. But first, here are some announcements. The main office is looking for, off for office workers during all periods. Students interested in spending study hall in a fun, flexible place can earn a quarter credit. See your counselor or stop in the main office for details. Also, there is a new student lunch with free pizza in the front courtyard today during 4th and 5th period. For all other students, burgers, hot dogs, and frozen yogurt sundaes can be purchased in the West Cafeteria. Sounds yummy, Lily. I have a feeling a lot of freshmen will be hitting that up. Speaking of freshmen, let's see how their first day went. Every year, UAHS holds a freshman day the day before classes start to help newcomers to the high school become acclimated with the building and its procedures. This year was no exception, and freshman day was held on Wednesday, August 17th. The event is run by administration, faculty, and upperclassmen bear guides who are there to help the incoming freshmen. Hey, my name is Mr. Piano. I'm the principal here at Upper Arlington High School. I just want to be the first one to welcome you to Upper Arlington High School as a class of 2020. Let's give yourselves a round of applause. Senior Avery Scholl served as a bear guide this year and explained exactly what her duties were. It was super cool to see the freshmen um, like in the school before everybody else was there, but also um, we got to help direct and all that stuff. We didn't have a lot um, to do other than just kind of showing them where to go and directing them. Shoals fellow bear guide, Senior Davis Kurtz, especially enjoyed being able to bond with the freshmen and give them pointers about the high school. My favorite part was giving advice to all the freshmen about what not to do and what to do in high school and how to survive, kind of. During the day, freshmen are welcomed in an assembly, participate in various activities, and are able to complete a short run through other schedules. Freshman Taylor Shockley found freshman day particularly helpful as she made the transition from middle school to high school. It was really nice to be able to walk through the school without everyone being here and all the hallways being crowded. So, on behalf of all of us at Kicking It Live, welcome to the high school freshmen. For Audrey Bull and Claire Mitchell, this has been Elise Schaefer for Kicking It Live, signing off with three pieces of advice courtesy of Shoal. Don't be afraid to ask for directions, stay on the right side of the hallway, and get to know your teachers. And have you been pushed into a locker by a senior? Um, yes, but it was accidental. <laughs> It seems like just yesterday, Elise and I were freshmen on our first day. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, you were required to complete six hours of community service over the summer. This is the last weekend to log your hours on Family Connection, so if you procrastinate on your service hours, just like your summer reading, you can go to joinuscolumbus.com backslash volunteer to see if there are any last-minute opportunities around town. Students taking government are also required to complete 16 service hours by the end of the year. Luckily, there is an easy way for you to gain those hours. Ms. Eisenman is looking for peer collaborators to join her classroom during study halls and free periods. All are welcome. If you are interested, stop by room 152. And now to Audrey and Spencer with sports. Hi, I'm Audrey. And I'm Spencer. First, the UA boys soccer team has a record of 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. You can see the boys play Olentangy home on Tuesday. Let's see how brave Olentangy is when they face the Bears. On Tuesday, the girls' soccer team had a nice comeback against to tie the Westerville Central, thanks to goals by Anna Piscopo and Molly Morgan. The girls' next home game is Thursday against Westerville North. Speaking of, uh, speaking of going to games, let's take a look at a club that's been taking our school by storm. Hey, we're the Bear Den! Welcome, Welcome to our crib. crib! The Bear Den, Upper Arlington Spirit Club, is the largest student organization at the high school. The Bear Den plans game stunts and crowd cheers for the high school athletic events every Tuesday after school in the first floor LC. Students of all grade levels are encouraged to join. Now let's take a look at last week's domino stunt.
now to Hall Moore and Madeline McKenna, two of the Bear Den leaders. All right, what's up guys? I'm Hall. I'm Mads. And we're Bear Den leaders. Come to our meetings Tuesdays after school, first floor LC at 315. Yeah, we will uh, enjoy any grade, any gender. We love everyone that comes. It's a lot of fun at the meetings and especially when you go to the games. You get to be part of the cheers and the stunts. It's a great experience. And freshmen, come on. We love freshmen. You guys are super important to our student section. So make sure you guys show up, be loud, come to all the games. And go Bears. Go Bears. If you have any questions, contact Hall Moore, Madeline McKenna, or Senior Hayes. This has been Audrey Bull reporting for WARL. Tonight's theme is camouflage as the football bears take on West Riddle Central at the Marv. Military themed shirts are being sold during lunch. Tonight, students will find white cards taped to the student section seats. At the half, Bear Den leaders will conduct a cheer. If your seat has a card, you will be cued to raise it. Be sure to keep the card held up for an overview picture. Our Spectator of the Week goes to Nick Devonian for bringing up the school spirit during the St. Charles game last Friday. Way to keep the student section hype, Nick! Now a real congratulations to our Athlete of the Week, Katie Trace, who competed in the Olympic swim trials this summer in Omaha, Nebraska. I had a chance to interview her about it earlier this week. So Katie, what was it like competing at the Olympic trials? It was a, definitely a great experience. I'm very happy to have been a part of it. Um, definitely have been one of my goals uh, growing up here in Upper Arlington. Um, I know that Abby Chin has been one of my role models um, as she's made it to um, three Olympic trials now. Um, I know that this time uh, sh we are in sort of different shoes, her being uh, sort of uh, used to ho the whole experience, but this was my first time and um, definitely great to have been a part of uh, the whole experience of everyone, uh, all the big, big names of swimming there in one place. Awesome. And do you plan on competing in this again in the future? I definitely um, have plans to. Um, I'll be swimming at Ohio State in the future, and um, who knows what will happen in the next four years, but I definitely plan on uh, having some better swims next time around. Sounds good. And I, I heard you saw some famous faces. Tell us about that. Yeah, so um, Michael Phelps, everyone knows, obviously. I saw him um, swimming in one of the warm down pools and accidentally ran into his coach <laughs> while he was trying to um, take his times down. But um, And then um, I know that when I was getting into the warm down pool, um, there's this big guy who was sort of in the way. I had to ask, uh, excuse me, could I get in or are you going? And he lifts his head up and he says, oh, no, you can go. And I see his cap says Dwyer, and uh, that's Connor Dwyer, if any of you guys have known him. But um, he qualified for Rio and was a gold medalist there and was actually on the relay that Michael Phelps broke his cap on. So that was cool to know him back then. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. And uh, tell us about Ryan Lochte to end it off. Um, I think that a lot could have been m misunderstood in that sort of situation. Um, different country, different laws, um, speaking different languages. Um, just a lot that probably could have been handled better, but um, I think it was all just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Katie. Now let's kick it back to me and Audrey. Katie wasn't the only UA connection in the trials. Thomas Trace, Joey Long, and Abby Chin are all UA grads and help to represent the Bears in Omaha. UA alum and two-time Olympian Abby Johnson also competed in diving. Our Special Olympic swimmers are in need of volunteer lifeguards. If you're certified and interested, see Mrs. Crawford. Her office is in the LC next to Mr. Henderson's desk. Baseball players, there's an 11-minute meeting in the clubhouse at 3.19 p.m. today. And finally, Fencing conditioning starts next Tuesday in the auditorium balcony. No experience is necessary. Now back to Lily and Elise with Lifestyle News. A strong signal discovered by Russian radio telescopes in 2015 has stirred up some alien speculation 94 light years away. Experts confirmed on Tuesday that this signal is in fact just a terrestrial disturbance. This one may be a bust, but I'm still rooting for the aliens. You and me both, Lily. On the topic of Out of This World events, movie star Bruce Willis was spotted on Tuesday filming his new movie, First Kill, in Granville. Did you know that Willis dabbled in an R&B singing career in the 80s? For those curious about what this may sound like, Google The Return of Bruno. If you want to break into the world of singing or are in need of an art credit, Glee Club is still available to join. Now let's take a look at what these kids have been doing so far this year. 
If you love singing but haven't joined choir in high school because of a full schedule, now is your chance. The Women's Glee and Men's Glee meet in the mornings at 7.20, two days a week, and offer a chance to get your daily singing in without dropping your favorite elective. Well, I joined Glee because, oh, I love singing, and even though it's early, it's a lot of fun, and you actually make a lot of new friends. My favorite part of being in Glee is the sisterhood of all the girls because it's just really fun to be with an all-girls chorus because it's just a strong sense of girl power. Probably Follies because the theme is Broadway and that's um, really fun because um, musical theater is like my favorite genre of music. I would just like to say that if you're not in Glee now, to join Glee because it's the best part of my Tuesdays and Fridays. Women's Glee meets in the auditorium on Mondays and Thursdays while Men's Glee meets Tuesdays and Fridays in room 181. If you're interested, talk to Mr. Calvin or Mrs. Lake Park down in the music hallways. This is Emily Gray reporting for WARL. What a great way to have fun while also getting your art credits in. And yes, seniors, those are required for graduation. Earlier this week, Taylor Swift reported for jury duty in Nashville, proving once again that stars are hashtag just like us. If you think you have some star potential, Cap Club, Cinematic Arts and Production Club, is looking for actors for a short film that will be, that will be produced this fall. If you're interested, contact capclubinfo at gmail.com or stop by the second floor LC after school on Tuesdays. Last weekend, I got the opportunity to be up close and personal with rap and EDM artists at Breakaway Festival. Check it out. I got bribes in Atlanta. She's with the lean in the family. Credit cards in the scammers. Hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Wayne, see, look like a panda. Going out like a Montana. Peace to my man. I'm a song singer. Says so Andy Sapino. For a man's dream, I am back. Breakaway depression has already settled in. Don't panic. Fashion Meets Music Festival is this weekend in the Arena District. There will be four stages featuring fashion designers in bands like Passion Pit, Adventure Club, and DJ Khaled. Major key. Also this weekend is the Greek Festival at the Greek Orthodox Church and the Labor Day Arts Festival at Northern Park. However, Labor Neighbor Day activities will be in different locations than usual. The pet show and bike races will be at Jones Middle School and the Wiffle Ball Tournament will be on the Barrington Fields. Juniors and seniors, if you applied to be a 6th grade camp counselor, check the email that you listed on your application. Application status and additional camp details have been sent out. If selected, please see Mr. Garner in room 230. Next week, we'll look at fall sports, this year's EF tours, and do some carpool karaoke. But until then, stay rad, UA!